Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can make some polygon primitives with the interactive creation. We're also going to take a look at some polygon components, and we're going to select one of the components and bevel it. Then we're also going to take a look at some duplication methods, the duplicate special and the duplicate with transform, and also how we can do a smooth mesh preview on the polygons. So I'm going to go under Create, Polygon Primitives, and make sure the interactive creation is turned on. And these are all the different polygon primitives we can make. So I'll just go and make a simple cube. It's asking me where do I want to make the base of the cube. So I'm just going to make in the corner over here, somewhere around there. And then it's asking me to make a height. So let's make a height, and there you go. Let's click on this button over here to go to the shaded view. If I right click on this polygon cube, I go into what is known as a component mode. I can go to vertex, edge, and face. So here you go, I can select the vertices, edge, I can select these edges, and I can go to face and select these faces. I go back to uh, right click and go back to object mode to come on the top level. The hotkeys to go to the component mode are F8 is a toggle switch to go to component mode and object mode. F9, F10, and F11 are respectively, they go to the vertex mode, edge mode, and face mode. I'm going to right click, go to edge, select these top edges by holding down shift, and I'm on the polygons menu set, I'll go under edit mesh, and let's go to bevel, and I already have some settings over here, segments at 3 and width at 0.2, let's use those, and just do a bevel. Right click, go to object mode again, and I just turned on the wireframe on shaded, so I see my wireframe on the shaded object. Now with this object selected, if I hit 2, I see a nice little smooth object with a cage around it, nice smooth mesh preview in the viewport, and if I hit 3, it's a nice smooth object. I'm going to use a duplication method called duplicate with transform, and that can be found under edit duplicate with transform. The hotkey for that is shift D. So with my move tool, I'm going to do shift D once and move this object. And if I do shift D one more time, you can see that my I will remember how much I had transformed it. If I select all these and shift D once and if I move it, my I will remember how much I had moved it over here. And I'll shift D a few more times. Let's use another duplication method over here. I'll select all these guys. Let's go to Edit, Duplicate Special. And over here, I have some settings. These, this is my X, Y, and Z. These are some of my previous settings, and I can simply use those. And I'll simply do a scale of 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and also a 0 0.9 over here. So I'm telling it, basically, give me 12 copies translate these objects 8 units up in Y, because this is the Y window, this is the Y area, and then scale them down 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and 0 0.9 units in X, Y, and Z. So let's just do duplicate special. So 12 copies over here, and they are separated by 8 units, and they are also scaling down as they go up. 